So in this video right here, let me show you some tactic how you can get ahead of the search result, just like how we see here in Google. Nowadays, Google will have the AI overview of most of the searches. So the way you can bypass that is find some product that not too popular, but they are selling in good prices. And also one of the good way you can bypass AI overview is to have a humanized content. So I'm going to show you some strategy how you can do that. So as you can see right here, we've got this Joe exerciser. And if you scroll down, you don't see any AI overview right here. So what you see is a website which is ranking in your region or in your geographical location and some powerful high domain rating website, just like this healthline.com. But if you scroll down, you will see you can get at least maybe three or top four spot on this one if you do this properly. And if you go to the free keyword overview by Ahref, so you don't have to subscribe, you can actually check exactly the contents that you can make out of this low competition product right here. And if you see this Joe exercises, we can go to questions tab. And if you check right here, it's easy keyword difficulty. That means you have a high chance of getting some positions on page one of Google. Well, that's subjective because it can vary. It depends on your location, especially when you are in, let's say Pakistan or South Africa, in the United States, there might be a little bit of competition, but if you are in places like India, Philippines, um, so it might be in a good position to get some spot on page one of Google. And the edge that you can have in order to be on the top list is to have a humanized version, even though you can produce this using AI. So I'm going to give you a quick example. So let's say you want to run for how long should you use Joe exercises. Now, before we create contents out of this, as you see right here, you can get trending items here on Amazon. If you take a look, Joe exercises also available in Amazon. But if you don't want to just earn a commission and want to have a large margin income, what you can do is you can go to AliExpress. As you can see, they're selling Joe exercises in really affordable prices right here, 2.43, 0.56, 5.69. And you can have at least 50% margin of this items right here. You can do TikTok and the easiest way you can do is do blooding. Now I am going to use this Hicks AI, AI writer. So I know if you are here in the channel for quite some time, I always use article AI generator, but just for the sake of, you know, strategy, let's have a look at these other AI writers that's available in the market. So before you can write an article using Hicks AI, what you just need to do is just go straight to your dashboard. And here in your dashboard, if you scroll down, you will see these other apps right here. You can simply click this AI article writer. Now, the simplest way you can do the AI article writer is this Amazon product roundup. So there is this one take mode that you can select. Now, describe the topic. So we just need to put our keyword right here, or you can have the keyword as well here. Now, for the purpose of simplicity, you can just have this both keywords in these two text fields and you can select the number of product review. Let's just choose five. So let's keep everything as is. You can actually have your Amazon tracking ID directly here. So once it generates the article, the link will get generated itself automatically with your Amazon tracking ID, which is really good. Now go to the GPT 3.5. So that's fine because we got to humanize this anyway. So let's generate the article. As you can see, it started to generate the articles. Let's wait for a few moments. And you will see right here, it started to write by itself. And you'll see it start to produce the value of the product. And if you actually add your Amazon tracking ID, then automatically you will have the link directly going to go into the product and having your Amazon tracking ID that automatically. So this is the sample article that we completed. So you can see right here tips on how long I should use the uh, Joe exercises, which is a really good topic. And here you can have the link directly to the Amazon product with your Amazon tracking ID directly embedded. Now, what I want to do is copy this right here. And first, let me check the GPT zero. So if, if I'm going to paste this entire article right here and click on scan, and you will see 99% will be detected as AI generated. Now, what I want to see is if I can humanize this, the easiest way you can do that, come to Google. So search this product right here, AI humanizer chat AI, and just this first result right here, click that. So once you sign into your account, you can start here for free. So which is really convenient, but this is really a good product. I tested this a lot of times. And if I'm not using article AI generator, so I come to this website, the AI humanizer, if I want my contents to be humanized. So I just simply add my article right there because I am not using the uh, premium, just like what I said, I just use the, the free version. But if you want more improved functionality and really works well uh, without any limitation, then you can upgrade to the premium ones. So let me just reduce some of the words right here so I can show you how it's going to work. 
So once it fits the 1000 words, free words that you can humanize, take this humanize, and as you can see here, it started to rewrite your article, and it's also doing automatic automatic check. You will see right here, it automatically checked this to GPT-0, to copy leaks to 0 GPT, it can all of this, and it's marked as human written. Now, if you don't believe these metrics right here, it's very simple. We can just have a look ourselves. So this is the humanized output. You can just simply copy this and head back to say GPT-0. And let's see in our own eyes if this is going to be marked as human written. So let's simply paste all the content here and click scan again. There you go. Look at that human content right here detected as human content, although we wrote it using the GPT 3.5. This will simply save you a lot of time, especially right now there are lots of AI detector. Now, the moment you're able to humanize this in just one click and be able to pass in all this AI detector right here, that will simply save you hundreds of dollars of time, worth of time, and just post it directly to your website or especially in colleges right now. Professors, are actually pretty smart when they ask students to write essay. They will go to any one of these AI detectors right here, up your contents in this one of this tool, and if they detected that it's AI written, then you might not have a good grade. But if you use the AI humanizer, then you have a better chance of passing that subject. Now, let me test in other tools apart from GPT-0 because we just tested in GPT-0, so let's do 0 GPT. So let's paste the humanized version right here and click detect text. Look at this, guys. Your text is human written. Just 1.65% AI GPT. It's actually a really good tool right here. This AI humanizer, that AI simply saves you a lot of time. Now, if you're still not convinced, we can go to copy leaks. So right here, go to copy leaks because these tools right here are the popular ones and free ones, which most of the people who want to check AI contents. So they go to these tools right here and simply at the humanized text or the AI content to see how much AI content written in the particular article. But if you're going to use AI humanizer, that will dramatically reduce. So going back to Papilix, so go to the AI detector and here you don't need to sign in. Just simply paste the humanized version of your article and click scan text and look at the result guys, 0%. So I'm not sure if these five uh, tools right here are tied up with AI humanizer that AI, but I don't think they are because they're nine out of 10. They are independent organization, but the way AI humanizer that AI produce the content and reduce the, actually almost remove the AI contents dramatically, that's simply amazing and can save you lots of time. Let me check one more. Maybe let's do the, we, we've completed the GPT-0, the copy leaks and zero GPT. Let's do the cross plot. So right here, just click this first result. And here you can just go to this, check your text for free, this AI content detector. And let's scan the humanized content. Again, let's copy this and come back to cross plug. Let's paste it right here and check. So this is how we can see that. So as you can see, this one says that the text mainly written in AI. So that means what I, I was saying earlier, these pipes are not tied up AI humanizer that AI, as you can see, cross plug mark it as AI written, but these first three, which are popular, mark them as human generated, human written content. Now, just the final one, let's go to sapling. And here, let's do the AI detector. And let's simply copy this and paste the item right here and look at this, just 0.2% fake. So if this bar is full, so that means most of the time it's AI content. But as I showed you earlier, these three are the popular AI detectors. So when your AI human generated human written article or AI written article, but humanize using AI humanizer that AI pass in this first three tool, then I think you're good to go. So I think that's about it. That's only an optional way or optional step if you are too conscious of having your contents being detected as AI. But as you know, nowadays, internet are full of AI contents. You just need to make your product less competition. The keyword difficulty should be less and make sure you can create good articles, even though it's written in AI, make sure they're not trash, they're not rubbish. I like carefully the AR article generator that you're going to use. And I think you're on the race. That's about it, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.